He's the gift that keeps on giving. Half machine Joe Biden has done it again, this time by revealing a sad truth about himself that really reflects on most of the Democrat Party. While speaking at the Eisenhower Executive Office Building last month, the gaffe machine admitted he's never been gainfully employed in his life, and he has no idea what he's going to do when this administration vacates the White House. I don't know what he's worried about. He might do well as a stand-up comic, just repeating most of the speeches he's given in his career in politics. But this startling revelation actually sheds quite a bit of light on a host of liberalism's absolute failures. It's common knowledge that few liberal Democrats have ever had to sign the front of a paycheck. But here, the gaff machine admits, not only has he never done that, he's never had to actually produce anything to earn a paycheck. And he's not the only one. We now have a professional community organizer in the White House. I've never heard a satisfactory explanation for what that even is, let alone seen a job description or heard any other definition beyond riling people up for some political cause. A few leftists have tried working legitimate jobs, but in most cases it doesn't work out. Hillary worked at the Rose Law Firm for a while, but was bounced out of there for lying and extreme corruption. Where does a corrupt liar go to make a living other than Democrat Party politics? Then of course you have the phony job, invented for the sole purpose of providing an avenue through which money can change hands. Like Michelle Obama being placed in some hospital position somewhere for $300,000 a year, but never having to show up or do anything to earn it. Or Chelsea Clinton, fresh out of college and earning $900,000 a year at some news outfit. It's all done to buy influence. Why do you think a foreign entity pays Bill Clinton $750,000 to speak at an event? It's just a mere down payment on future rights to purchase influence. These are the same people who rail against Mitt Romney or Donald Trump for actually going out and making their way in the world, producing goods and services, providing jobs and boosting the economy, rather than sitting around like leeches and then acting like they know what's best for business, the economy, or healthcare. But don't worry, Joe. Even Jimmy Carter has managed to keep busy and sustain himself. You should be fine. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.